I've decided probably it'll be like one vlog confirmed a week and then if I can fit it in because I've kind of been pretty busy and it's been hard for me to um, upload on, on two times a week um, but I'm sure it's okay and this one there's a lot of driving but it was really because it was just separated throughout all three days of the weekend and then um, today month or Tuesday today's Tuesday I know what day it is um and so let me just do a little rundown on why I called it split there's a few reasons one because it's over three to four days of recording so on sat Sunday I worked at the park which was pretty cool it was a day of training for me for the uh for the train the carousel that was pretty fun to do um I I mean I worked with some new people that was that was okay. It was a good day of work, and I'll be working next weekend. Now that I, that now that I know some stuff, and then that night I went with a girlfriend, a girlfriend of mine. That sounds like I have more. I just I went with my girlfriend. We went and saw Split in the movie theaters. It's the one with the the guy with 23 different personalities. That was a really good movie. She, I don't know, she's gonna get pissed at me for this, but she was like really scared at the end it was hilarious dude but it was a good movie the actor who played um kevin and dennis and all the different personalities he was really good and i realized at the end there was a tie-in i'm not going to obviously spoil it but if you have watched m night Shyamalan's movies then you will probably get the tie-in but it was it was a really good movie um and so that was nice and then Yesterday I didn't really, I didn't record at all really, and then today, so it was a split between Sunday and Tuesday, so that that too. But here right now I'm at uh, the Kaiser Medical Sports Department. Um, I didn't go to school today. I was having some troubles with with my stomach. It's just another kind of thing I have. But I'm really here for my leg, which my coach had noticed a bump on my leg. I noticed it too. It was kind of like a little bulge i'm sure you guys watched the other vlog about it um but he took away my medical clearance and that that was that was i mean he did it for a reason but i was kind of pissed about that but when i had gone to my doctor on friday he didn't know what it was and he called a specialist and the specialist didn't know what it was and then that was when we were like crap there's probably probably isn't right so I'm here at the sports medical thing. It's on Old Redwood Highway. There's a lot of people here. My appointment's at 1:30. It's 1:22 right now. Um, and so I'll I'll go in. I'll talk to them and I'll record it when I get back out here. <laughs> yeah. And I haven't recorded myself in a while, so I'm a little I don't know nervous or something. I don't really know what's wrong. With it. But yeah. So this. I'll be back. I'll be back. Hey, so it's after the checkup. Um, I don't know if it'd be a checkup, but basically he had me fill out a sheet and then asked me what I did, and then he had to bring in like the ultrasound machine, which is, I guess, it's kind of pretty cool that you can fit it all in one little desk thing. Um, and he was going up and down my right leg, and then he went to my left leg, and he couldn't find the other one that had been on my left leg, the lump. And going back to the right leg, he found that there was one part of my leg where the muscle was thicker, and then some, what he thinks is like fat, had gotten built into the muscle, and it was making the muscle poke out of the layer of whatever he said. I, it was just, he was just listing off all these things, and I didn't really know what all it meant, but basically he said, unless it starts to hurt, which it didn't hurt, unless my knee and then the lump starts, or that area starts to hurt again, then we have a problem because that would mean the muscle is getting pinched between the skin and whatever keeps the muscle between the skin. I don't really know. Um, but he said I did need, like really do need to have a knee brace slash sleeve. It's like, showed me a few pictures online for just get some shot put and he would not recommend doing either of those things without one. So. I mean, more money got to go spend and buy a knee brace or a sleeve. Um, so we're heading over to Dick's, and then I'm pretty sure you're not going to want to sit and watch all of the driving back, so I'll split it up in between, try and balance it with the uh, 
the music in the background every time uh, uh, there's a bass bass drop or bass peak I'll uh, cut it out but yeah like dust out speaking part I just want to show you what I got just a knee compression sleeve to support my kneecap on my right knee because when I do squats and stuff which I do a lot um, and I have had knee problems for a really long time so, um, you can hear like a really loud cracking and because shot putting discus relies heavily on my right knee because I'm right-handed um, all the twisting and bending down and everything, uh, my coach told me I had to get one. So yeah, and here's the return back home.